When you think of foraging, what is your motivation? Have you considered it? Many who think of foraging may think of this Boy Scout type exclusive skill set, the kind that will give them the competence for a survival situation. Or some may reason it's a form of empowerment, giving them the freedom to break free from the food supply chain. While there is some truth to these concepts, how many really question the practicality of such thinking, particularly the viability to sustain oneself or survive off of wild edibles alone? This is where some misconceptions begin that I'd like to share. Observations of such people and cultures through history, which have been labeled as hunter and gatherer type, tell us a different story. For example, many of the indigenous people of the Pacific Northwest were once known to be excellent foragers. Still, they relied a great deal on the food security that came from hunting and fishing. It's true, many varieties of berries, roots, and plants supplemented their diet throughout the seasons yet the bulk of their caloric intake was from meat. And while these cultures were known to forage a great deal of plants, it wasn't uncommon for them to find and nurture a large niche of prized edible plants, being sure not to overharvest while preserving the health of the plant colony. This was more of a caretaker approach to agriculture. In the case that such areas were to lose their sustenance for various reasons, a nomadic search would take them to a new piece of land for this symbiotic relationship to continue. Early North American settlers recognized the need to supplement their food. Coming from an agriculturally dominant society, crops were quickly planted wherever they settled. But even then, farming livestock and occasionally hunting and foraging would supplement their diet. Additionally, many food preservation techniques were practiced to hold them through the winter months. Although this approach was a contrast to practicing the nomadic lifestyle, it still supports a vital point. Living off the land requires more than just one exclusive skill set. Living off the land requires more than just one 
exclusive skill set. An individual needs to be a farmer, hunter, forager, and food preserver all in unison if you expect to be completely food independent. That is why I chose to share this footage of my garden harvest and soon some food preservation techniques. In future videos when I create meals, I can include such produce to help myself and the viewer appreciate that it takes real energy to sufficiently supply oneself with a nutritionally balanced and satisfying meal. Of course, this rant is just my opinion. I hope you found this interesting and I uh, hope you have your own opinion to share. If so, please hit the like button and comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see more of this type of content. Thanks for watching and as always, happy foraging!